everyone. My name is Christian from Solitech, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the wire and cabling order inside SolidWorks Electrical. As you can see on my screen, I will start off with a very small, simple schematic that I just created just to demonstrate and um, just for demonstration purposes. Now, let's have a closer look at um, the connection between S1, S2, H1 and Relay K2. We've got this little schematic over here and um, there are several ways of how we can connect everything in the 3D um, SOLIDWORKS together. We can go for instance from S1 to K2, from S1 to H1 and the last wire is from S1 to S2. However, this can cause a problem because we've got three wires leaving S1 going to all the other connections. Um, so let's have a look how SolidWorks Electrical actually connected these um, components together. To do that, I can right click on this cable here or on this wire here and I can go to wire cabling order. Now this opens up a new screen and if I just click in here and zoom a little bit out, we can see our schematic again. And what SolidWorks Electrical has done is it's connected S2 up to S1. Then from S1, we go to H1. And then from H1, we go to K2. So we've got two connections at H1 and two connections at S1 or two wires leaving at S1. If you don't want that, or you want to manually control this, what we can do is we can also assign this ourselves. Simply just select all the wires over here, and I'm just going to delete them. You can see now that the equipotential number two is empty, so it's not complete, it's not wired at all. Now we can start off by simply selecting um, S2, and I'm gonna wire S2 to H1. So select S2. I'm going to left click add wire from point. Then I will zoom out a little bit because it will automatically go to the component that I select and I wanna to go to H1. So I select H1 over here and I'm going to select replace destination with point. So you can see now S2 is wired up to H1. Let's do the same thing for S1. So left click S1 add wire from point, left click K2, replace with destination point. So S1 is now connected to K2. Note that at the left top of my screen, it still says incomplete, so I'm missing one more connection. So SolidWorks Electrical will tell me if that's the case. Now my radination here is going to be that my two push buttons over here are both going to be in the door of my cabinet so I would like to create a link between S1 and S2 so my wire is nice and short. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select S1, add wire from point, left click S2, replace wire destination point. Now once this is done and I click in here to refresh my or to update the equipotential here, you can see that it's actually going to be complete. So now I've just changed the wiring order which directly affects the way the wires are going to be routed inside SolidWorks Electrical 3D. That's it for this week's video. Thank you for watching.